Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story at six, a lawsuit spanning two years will change how homeless individuals are treated in the city of Sarasota. A federal judge approving the settlement between the city and the American Civil Liberties Union on Thursday. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us live from downtown Sarasota to explain how individuals sleeping on public property can now be removed. Adam. Yeah, Scott and Haley, those breaking those public lodging rules that the city has set can now only be arrested if they decline shelter services. And those shelter services will first and foremost be offered right here at the Salvation Army, located on 10th Street and Central Avenue near downtown. Sleeping on city sidewalks and parks in Sarasota is illegal, but it no longer means a ticket to jail. To us, this is the new standard in how municipalities and governments should treat uh, unsheltered individuals who are homeless with dignity. A lawsuit filed by the American Civil Liberties Union with eight plaintiffs, including former musical duo Donald Gould and Paul Leonardo, was settled by a federal judge on Thursday. It says the city can't enforce their code against public lodging unless other arrangements are available. An existing agreement with the Salvation Army for 20 emergency beds will be option one, and if those fill up, Police Chief Bernadette DePino says hotels are another option. This doesn't change the way that we operate dealing with homeless in our community. As a matter of fact, over two years, closer to three years, we have already been doing everything that's in the settlement agreement. Captain Kevin Stiff designed SPD's homeless outreach program, which he says were following these guidelines before the lawsuit was filed. It's nice to know what you're doing is, is good. I mean, uh, it went through a lawsuit and they said, do what you're doing. In a statement, city manager Tom Barwin called the suit unwarranted, saying it confirms that the city's practices are not only aligned with the law, but represent a reasonable and compassionate approach to dealing with the homeless. Michael Barfield says it changes a few things. The Salvation Army can no longer put people on floor mats, individuals can store property with them, and they don't have to partake in religious services. This now becomes a more formalized uh, uh, relationship between the Salvation Army and the city, but it also incentivizes the city to come up with the next uh, phase of a solution. Now, Scott and Haley, the city will be paying each of those eight plaintiffs $1,000 each as well, and the ACLU will be collecting $27,000 in attorney fees. We reached out to some of the plaintiffs listed on that lawsuit, but none were available for comment today. Live in uh, downtown Sarasota, I'm Adam Cellini. Scott and Haley, back to you. All right, Adam, thank you. Bradenton Police continuing its investigation into an accidental sibling shooting that left a 12-year-old boy dead. Police say Abraham Luna's 13-year-old brother accidentally shot him at a home yesterday afternoon. He later died at Manatee Memorial Hospital. It's unclear how the teen got a hold of the gun. Bradenton Mayor Wayne Poston says the home was part of the Bradenton Housing Authority, which has a policy against firearms. But it's not mentioned in its admission and continued occupancy policies approved last September. Some neighbors say they are aware of the policy, but others say they were not about it, didn't know about it upon moving into public housing. If it's like that, they just should let people know beforehand and let them know what's going on. That's the policy like that. You cannot have unsecured guns around kids. And these were young kids. These were 12 and 13 year old kids. The Bradenton Housing Authority declined to comment on the shooting and its policy against firearms. The man accused of killing his girlfriend's 17 month old son is taking the stand in his own trial. Richard Williams is facing second degree murder charges in the death of William Quincy Pollard in 2015. The state attorney's office says the boy died as the result of blunt force trauma to his head. However, Williams denies ever hitting the boy. My concern was that he had a bruise under his eye um, that that wasn't there when we gave him to uh, her parents, but was there when we got him back. If convicted, Williams could face up to life in prison. Detectives with the Manatee County Sheriff's Office are investigating several vehicle burglaries over the past couple of days in a neighborhood in Sarasota. Several items were stolen from unlocked cars on Glenbrook Drive, Glenbrook Court, and Glenbrook 
place. There were no signs of forced entry into any of the cars. In one case, a credit card was stolen from a car on Glenbrook Terrace and used at a shell station on Lockwood Ridge Road. A female captured by security cameras is believed to be one of the suspects involved in the burglary she's seen here. Anyone with information is asked to call the sheriff's office. It's safe to swim again near the Venice Fishing Pier. Health officials lifting a no swim advisory. New testing results show the water near the pier and Service Club Park is back to normal. The advisory was put in place yesterday after elevated levels of bacteria were found there. And we are heading into the weekend, which should actually be a pretty nice one weather-wise, Bob. Yeah, we are looking at a pretty good weekend. Yeah, you heard that earlier in the newscast, Haley. Uh, looks like high pressure will dominate, and that means not much chance for rain. There'll be a few showers around, but boy, what a beautiful day out in the water today. Got a look at the time lapse from this morning, uh, this afternoon around 2 o'clock, and you see fall, uh, calm conditions out there. The sea's rather uh, light, really two feet or less, and that will be continuing on through Saturday and Sunday. It's been a rough week for boaters, but that is changing. A uh, big storm's down south, so that's where the moisture has been kind of bottled up right now. This may gradually work its way northward through the weekend. Our rain chances will still stay relatively low. Uh, even these storms are not all that intense, and they're pushing out into the Gulf already. A few showers. These are the this is the east coast breeze, and there's not much to it. Uh, but there is still a little west coast breeze that has developed. We'll see that as we kind of put a little bit more sensitivity onto the radar. This is that west coast wind, and as it runs into these showers here, they'll fire up a little bit more activity inland areas. Uh, one or two may make their way back to the coast, but it's unlikely at this time to see a lot of rainfall in our forecast through this evening. Those winds are very light, so the sea breeze is not all that strong, but you see they're basically out of the west all the way through eastern portions of the uh, viewing area, although Mayaka City out of the uh, east-northeast. And uh, the winds will stay out of the west through this evening. As I said, we may see a little bit of that collision take place and a few showers popping up inland areas mainly. So a great night for a walk, a bike ride, whatever you may do. Uh, not too bad, but it is going to be pretty warm. The heat index right now at 94 degrees. More on your weather for the weekend coming up in just a couple of minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. It's being called one of the most gruesome domestic abuse cases on the Sun Coast. A Suncoast woman is currently in a coma after being attacked by her boyfriend, and now the family is speaking out to help others. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates joins us with more. Bo Beth. Now, we've all heard the popular domestic violence slogan, No More. Well, that message is now being echoed by one Suncoast family. If you see something, say something. You know, there's, you don't ever think this is going to happen to you. And unfortunately, it happened to us. Christy Lehmans is one of several family members and close friends who spent the last several days visiting a domestic violence victim at Sarasota Memorial's ICU. There were just so many people that can attest to her being hit or uh, seeing her being dragged around by him. And if they just would have ducked behind a wall and called 911 and just said, hey, anonymously, I don't want to get involved, but you need to come and check this out, you know, she would be awake right now. The victim, 28-year-old Katie Layton, She's currently in a coma. According to the Sarasota Sheriff's Office, this man, 26-year-old Joshua Curtis, is responsible. He punching her um, in the face, which is what caused, um, what we think to have caused the swelling in the brain and the bleeding. But Curtis isn't just accused of punching Layton once. The couple's children told law enforcement he punched her in the side of the head. Then when she fell to the couch, he continued punching her until she eventually fell to the floor. She reportedly laid there unresponsive until Curtis took her to bed. And the next morning when Layton still had not moved, he eventually called 911. Curtis has since been arrested and charged with aggravated battery. When you're beat down emotionally and physically, mentally, I felt she felt she had no worth. That's been showed wrong. She's very lovable. Everybody is pouring out in so many ways with donations and being there for support for her and her family. And the family hopes Layton's story will help others. And what I think domestic violence victims need to know is that there are people who do care, no matter what the the man says. Now GoFundMe count has been created to help with Katie's medical bills. Back to you. All right, Bobeth, thank you. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight. Governor Scott is getting involved in the efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare. Why it's causing him to take a trip to Washington. My name is Luke Perry and I am one million strong. I'm in the fight against colorectal cancer because I believe we can win it. 
Colon and rectal cancers are the second leading cause of cancer deaths among men and women in the U.S. Colon cancer is preventable. Know the risk factors and make sure to get screened. There are simple take-home options available. Take control of your health. Screening for colon cancer isn't embarrassing. It can be life-saving. To find out more about your options, visit fightcrc.org. Fresh out of the box, the Alfa Romeo won us over. We went in skeptical and left in awe of this gorgeous machine. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. What's a nice Jewish girl to do when she can't introduce her wasp boyfriend to her conservative parents? Hire an actor. Hilarious and insightful, Bo Jest is at the Player Center June 14th through the 25th and it's your ticket to a sizzling summer. Call the players at 365-2494 or visit theplayers.org. Don't miss Bo Jest. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. ABC 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. It does things that seem impossible. Feeling like it could change direction while airborne. Rediscover your passion for driving. At Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Governor Scott is planning another trip to Washington to meet with congressional leaders over plans to repeal and replace Obamacare. In a statement, Scott says he wants to work on making the bill better for Floridians. He says he looks forward to ensuring there is a health care proposal that dismantles the expensive mess of Obamacare. Scott says that we need a new health care policy that allows patients to have access to quality health care at an affordable price. Details of his trip to Washington have not been released. All right, the weekend is here. Yes, it is. Bob's going to have the forecast for it right after this. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. This Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Minute is brought to you by Sarasota Ford. This year's Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix will feature two full days of racing off Lido Beach on July 1st and 2nd. Meet race teams up close during the Boats on Main downtown block party on Friday, June June 30th. Don't miss the Grand Prix Fan Fest on July 1st and 2nd, where you can see race boats launch and watch the races live from under a large tent. There will be music, food, fan zones, and vendors. VIP race day viewing tickets are available at SarasotaPowerboatGrandPrix.org. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade even if you don't buy from us and if you do we promise you the best deal bring us any competitors ad and we'll beat it by at least a thousand dollars that's why they're coming from everywhere to sarasota ford where 41 meets 301 sarasotaford.com 
It's a star-spangled 4th of July sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. With two and a half acres, Bacon's is Southwest Florida's largest furniture showroom. Beautiful furniture in any style, for any budget. With savings of 30, 50, even 70% off throughout the store. Celebrate your independence with extra savings on all Flex Steel furniture. Come see why Bacon's is voted the number one place to buy furniture year after year. The 4th of July sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding in Port Charlotte. Nobody beats Bacon's. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. As a singer-songwriter, it's all about creating high-performance art that moves it's people. No Same is true in making gorgeous cars. Fiat designs it. You're the artist. Choose your palette just about any color combo inside out. No small wonder, state-of-the-art style Fiat. Now this moves me. Let the art of Fiat move you at Fiat of Sarasota. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Bob shaping up to be a nice weekend. Today's a nice day. Pretty hot, but considering, yeah, yeah, and, and there's a lot You're going be on busy too. Tomorrow. Yeah, busy tomorrow and lots going on this weekend. We heard from Linda Carson. I'm sure we'll hear more. And uh, <laughs> we have the Bob Rizzi Memorial Golf Classic that takes place in the Meadows 830 Shotgun. It's sold out. 44 groups. Wow. So it always is. It's just a true testament of uh, how people get involved in this uh, big race that's mm -hmm. going on uh, throughout all of the uh, next week. And uh, the races really don't begin until next week. You know, weekend, and we have yeah. a big. Uh, with the boats uh, in Main the Street on uh, Block Party. I'll mm -hmm. be there live usually talking to some nice. racers and drivers mm -hmm. and all sorts of things going on. The weather appears to be cooperating. We have a big car show too on Main Street at Lakewood Ranch on Sunday, this Sunday. So that's always a good thing from around 1030 till 2 in the afternoon. Uh, beautiful weather. Typically this time of year, you got to look out. Showers and storms can cause all sorts of problems, uh, but not the case this weekend. It's looking really quite nice. Casey Key Web Camp, beautiful weather for the beaches. As a result of this high pressure ridge that has moved in and all that moisture kind of moved out with Cindy taking it with it. And we are looking at uh, calmer conditions out there in the waters too. The seas state, the sea state has been up all week long and now it's starting to finally calm down and no real worry about any rip currents taking place right now. Well, the remnants of what was Brett, the other tropical storm, it was only around for about 24 hours continues to kind of rotate and wrap around this upper level low, which is moving off uh, to the west northwest right now. No worries about that developing into anything anytime soon. And uh, the rest of the, the tropics pretty quiet. Typically, we only have one tropical system every five years. We had two this year, which is pretty surprising. And 87 degrees right now, and that's in June, I should say. Uh, heat index is at 94. The relative humidity at 63%. Not too terrible out there, but it's still warm with a heat index at 94 degrees. The high today was right at the average of 89. 99, the record set in 1998. And uh, rainfall, well, we've done pretty well for the month, and now for the year, we've caught up considerably. Now, the uh, forecast winds will be out of the east, southeast throughout the overnight. Eventually, a little weak sea breeze will develop tomorrow afternoon. Along that sea breeze, there's a chance for a few scattered showers or a possible thunderstorm, but that rain chance is lower than climatological averages for this time of year. Typically, we look at a 50 to 60 percent chance. Tomorrow, it's only a 30 percent chance for scattered storms. 75, right now, dew point temperature in Orlando, 73 in Miami. So those are fairly typical dew points, too, for this time of year. Temperatures into the low 90s inland, right along the beaches into the mid-80s there. Uh, 88, though, degrees in Cortez, 87 in Palmyra, the Meadows at 88, and 88 in Laurel Oak, Lake Sarasota, and a one degree warmer in Venice now, 91 in Northport, and 90 in Port Charlotte. Well, the uh, forecast tomorrow looks to be pretty nice. Sunshine will start the day off, which is a few clouds in the afternoon. 
Now, the beaches will warm to around 87, but inland areas will indeed be in the low to mid 90s. The future cast it looks like this tonight. There's a chance for a few passing showers, not much. And then uh, skies will clear after midnight. Should be great weather to start the day off tomorrow. A few showers developing along the sea breeze front. Most of that inland due to this frontal boundary approaching uh, usually favors more inland showers. And even that is not going to be all that much because of the slightly drier air that has slipped in on Sunday. Maybe a little bit better chance to see a few coastal showers around as we move through time. But for the most part, uh, that uh, should not be around all that long. Still hot out west. Temperatures in the 111 now in Phoenix. 76, a bit cooler in Detroit. Well, here's the boating forecast. Winds will be out of the southeast. Turning to the southwest at 10 knots, a light chop out there. And that boating weather continues to be really nice through Sunday. The water temperature warm, 88 degrees. And as far as the tides go, here they are on your screen. Low tide will be at 819 and a high tide at 250. Another low tide at 632 tomorrow. Partly cloudy, a 20% chance for a shower. And uh, 76 for low tomorrow. 90, hot and humid, 30% chances for afternoon showers. The extended forecast, though, so next week, lots going on. And a good chance for those afternoon storms to return. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you so much. Still to come on your Suncoast News tonight. Protecting our wildlife, how local children are getting involved. Tonight, as the GOP races to repeal Obamacare, some Republicans don't like the new plan. As the details rattle both sides and protests erupt, can Mitch McConnell find the votes needed before summer recess? This is where America turns. World News Tonight with David Muir. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Get ready for the most hair-raising event of the summer. Bell Entertainment and the Ringling Museum present international circus superstar, Bello Knock, in Incredibello, a gravity-defying, laughter-inducing, super stunt performance. Live at the historic Oslo Theater. Don't miss out on the must-see event of the summer, Incredibello, playing June 13th through July 29th. For tickets, visit ringling.org today. With a top prize of $10 million, the new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery is your ticket to take on the world. If you get knocked down, stand up again. Rip it up, rip it up again. Give me one chance, give me one chance. I'm gonna make it, make it. Give me one chance, this is my chance. I'm gonna take it. The new $10 million world-class cash scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. One of our life-changing scratch-offs offering billions in cash prizes. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Save Our Seabirds is getting the chance to help teach local kids about the importance of protecting our wildlife. Save Our Seabirds hosted campers from Sarasota County's summer camp program. They got a chance to see some of the birds being treated at the organization, ranging from doves and owls to pelicans. For CEO David Pilston, the day was all about teaching both children and adults about the role birds play in our environment and how important they are. Be aware of the birds. Uh, they're an important part of the environment. Uh, 85% of birds never see their second birthday. And uh, many of the birds that you see around here are on uh, endangered lists. Um, and uh, many of them are on the Audubon's birds on the brink list. And so, um, you know, if the birds disappear, we could be next. The children also got a chance to meet Scully the Pelican, the official mascot for the 2017 World Rowing Championships. They watched Scully feed fellow pelicans, which is pretty cool. That wasn't Scully, by the way. That no, was not that Scully. Was a real that was a real pelican. But a, a, a goodbye to Jess, our beloved producer who's going on to Indianapolis. We wish you the best. Jess Peters, good mm -hmm. luck, Jess. This is an ABC7 editorial with Steve Sabato.
The June 8th edition of the Sarasota Observer included an excellent article on Sarasota's Rosemary District and whether the current zoning caps will remain or be lifted. By way of background, this little neighborhood north of Ringling between the Trail and Washington is in the midst of a housing boom, more than 1,500 new residential units. The spark for this explosion happened back in 2014 when city commissioners approved a zoning change that increased population density from 25 units per acre to 75 units per acre. Almost overnight, the number of building permit applications exploded. A neighborhood once plagued by crime and drugs is being transformed into a hip urban hotspot for young professionals and well-heeled snowbirds. Sounds like a great story, right? Well, not so fast. Some say rents are too high, green space is lacking, and get this, the sidewalks aren't wide enough. I guess you can't make everybody happy all the time. Fortunately, the city put a cap on the number of high density units in the district, and we are close to hitting that cap, 85% of the way there to be exact. The question now facing our esteemed city commissioners, keep the cap in place or raise the cap and allow the boom to continue. So what's the bottom line? This would be a good time to hit the pause button, take a step back, and monitor the impact this rapidly developing situation will have. Before going off half-cocked, it would be wise to spend the next year or two collecting demographic data, monitoring the evolution of the Rosemary District, and then revisit the CAP decision based on hard facts and reality. I'm Steve Sabato and we'd like to hear from you. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. It's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. It's a star-spangled 4th of July sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. With two and a half acres, Bacon's is Southwest Florida's largest furniture showroom. Beautiful furniture in any style, for any budget. With savings of 30, 50, even 70% off throughout the store. Celebrate your independence with extra savings on all flex steel furniture. Come see why Bacon's is voted the number one place to buy furniture year after year. The 4th of July sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding in Port Charlotte. Nobody beats Bacon's. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air.